Hello and welcome to another calculus video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, part two of differentiation rules. This is part two of three. The last part is going to be just covering one rule which um, gave me a lot of trouble myself, but hopefully we'll be able to get through it. Today we're going to be talking about the product and quotient rules. So let's jump right into it. This is the product rule. So this is something we'll do when we have to differentiate or take the derivative of um, some function that's a fu that's a product of two other functions. So this says that the different the, the derivative of f of x times g of x is f prime of x plus g times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. So something that I'm going to show you now, which is a quicker way to denote this, is we're going to cut out the x's. So f prime g plus f g prime. So um, um, let's go over some practice problems. So again, I'm going to write this up in the corner f prime g plus g prime f, or f g prime, however you like it. So in this case, f is going to be e to the x, and g is going to be sine of x. Um, also, make sure you know all your derivatives for this video, because I won't be including them. Um, I'll expect you to know them. So we're just going to copy down this formula, basically. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So that's e to the x times g, which is sine of x. And now we're going to do g prime f. So g prime is going to be cosine of x. And f is just e to the x. So our final answer is going to be e to the x sine of x plus cosine of x. And that's it. OK. Let's move on. OK, we're going to find the derivative of sine of x cosine of x. So this is going to be f. And this is going to be g. So we're going to remember it's f prime g plus g prime f. So um, we're going to start with f prime g. So f prime, um, this is sine of x. So the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. And g is also just cosine of x plus g prime f. So plus, what's g prime? The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. And f is just sine of x. So our answer is going to be cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x, or if you prefer, cosine of 2x. All right, that's it for the product rule. Now let's move on to the quotient rule. Now this is obviously um, much bigger and this is gonna be a lot harder to memorize, but we'll just take it step by step and hopefully you understand. So the derivative of f over g of x is gonna be f prime of x times g of x minus, so this is almost the same as um, the product rule, but in this case we have a minus sign. So f prime of x, g of x minus g prime of x, f of x, and remember on the bottom here, this is going to be g of x squared. So I'm going to write our shorthand notation for this. f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. So uh, take a moment to soak this in. It's just pausing it. But this is going to be a very important um, derivative rule because anytime we have a quotient of two functions, we're going to use this shortcut to figure it out. So I'm going to write here in the corner again, f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. So we just have to figure out this is going to be f and this is going to be g. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 and 2x squared plus 4x plus 7. So let's start by putting in the denominator just g squared. So that's going to be 2x squared plus 4x plus 7. And also in this video you'll see that I won't be simplifying um, by multiplying everything out. And I'm going to assume that your teachers won't want you to do that either because that's not a very common practice. You can just leave it in parentheses. So now we're going to figure out what f prime is. So 2x minus 2 because the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of minus 2x is negative 2. And then we're just going to copy down g is 2x squared plus 4x plus 7. And then minus, okay, g prime, that's going to be bring the 2 to the front, bring the power minus 1, that's going to be 4x, then 4x is just 4, and f is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1, and I found all these derivatives um, just using the power rule, and I'm doing it kind of quickly, but feel free to pause or slow the video down, and so this is going to be our answer. Obviously it's a little bit messy, but that's our answer. Now we're going to find the derivative of e to the x over x squared plus 1, so I'm going to write over here in the corner, f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. I'm going to keep drilling this into your brain because it's important to memorize this. So f is going to be e to the x and g is going to be x squared plus 1. So 
First, we're going to put g squared on the bottom. Um, okay, so f prime, that's the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x, times g, which is x squared plus 1, minus g prime, which the derivative of x squared plus 1 is just 2x, and f is just e to the x. So our final answer is going to be e to the x, x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared. You could simplify this, but for now I'm just going to leave it as this answer because we don't really care about simplifying it. We just care about finding the answer. One last one for today. This is going to be a shorter video, but now we're going to find the derivative of sine of x over sine of x plus cosine of x. So again, I'm going to write it here in the corner, f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. Very important to memorize this. f is just sine of x and g is sine of x plus cosine of x. So first I'm just going to do over g squared sine of x plus cosine of x. Okay, so f prime, that's the derivative of sine of x, it's just going to be cosine of x. g, um, that's just sine of x plus cosine of x, minus g prime. Okay, so g prime is going to be cosine of x minus sine of x because those are the derivatives of those respective functions. And f is just sine of x. This time I am actually going to multiply it out because uh, in general, when you have a quotient of like sine of x and cosine of x, a lot of things are going to cancel or simplify. And so I would just want to make it not look so ugly. So we're going to have sine of x, cosine of x, plus cosine squared of x. I just distributed this minus sine of x, cosine of x, plus sine squared of x. That was just distributing this. And as you can see here, these are going to cancel. And this cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is just 1. So our final answer is just going to be, I'll put it up here, 1 over sine of x plus cosine of x squared. That's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. And that's going to end video number 2. We will have one more video about uh, derivative rules and I think that one's going to be a little bit longer because it's a very important and very difficult topic but I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.